So Amy, tell us what you've been up to. <laughs> My friend thing. <laughs> So from the OYAN, uh, Oregon Library Association, the Teen Librarian of the Year for the State of Oregon, our own um, Amy Muckel from our Tualatin Library, Michael, who runs Amy, the teen room, Michael. or I should say, uh, invites the teens to, <laughs> to have their own room and run their own room. It's really cool what you do day in and day out. Group. Great article in the paper, by the way. Thank you. So uh, uh, congratulations and thank you. And, some comments. I do have a few words. So I'm Durianne Thompson, the manager at the Tarleton Public Library, and I'd like to ask you, Mayor and Council members, to join me in recognizing Amy Michael for being the recipient of the OEN Your Excellent Award. Um, as the mayor said, when we renovated and expanded the library in 2008, we introduced a dedicated teen room, and this is a space that's exclusively for the use of teens here in Tarleton. And at that time, Amy, who was already working at the, at the library, became our first teen librarian. I think in the, in the years in between, she's worked very hard to make the library a place that's welcoming and inviting for our, our local teens. And her success shows by how much teens <coughs> use our library. Um, they come as, for a place to read books, to use technology, to attend programs, and for social interaction. But I think it's important to recognize that uh, Amy's work is about more than just giving teens a place to hang. She's dedicated to improving the lives of teens in our community. Through the Teen Library Committee, teens learn valuable leadership, communication, and planning skills as they coordinate and deliver programs and work on special projects, including joint efforts with the YFC. And through our Summer Teen Volunteer Program, teens gain workplace skills and experience that helps them in gaining their first job. Amy always makes herself available to talk one-on-one -on -one with any teen who's facing challenges or needs some guidance. And that's just a, such a small part of what she does every day. Um, she was nominated for this award by several local teens as well as library staff. The team letters were really heartfelt and very touching, so I wanted to share just a couple of comments um, ex exerted from, that, from those letters. I've always had trouble with meeting new people and interacting socially in group settings. Amy was very open and welcoming to me and always tried to make sure that I kept a smile on me. She helped to reassure me to be okay with talking to other teens and challenge myself to go to more social events. I was able to find confidence in myself and in my abilities of making a difference in my community. Another teen said, without Amy's guidance and support th throughout the years, I would have never grown out of my shell or realized how much I enjoy helping others. Because she taught me the value of a good and strong work ethic, I improved in school and was not daunted by higher level classes. Another person said, Amy has been very inspirational in my life, and I would like to thank her for all of her time, her kindness, and for being there for teens that need her. Um, again, I, I think that we're so lucky to have Amy as a teen librarian in our community, and, and I know that she's made a very positive impact on the lives of countless teens um, in, in our community. Um, in addition to this beautiful award, which please show them, um, <laughs> This beautiful award that she received, the library is also getting a hundred dollar donation to support library services for teens. So again, um, thank you for letting us come and, and recognize Amy publicly for the work that she's done for our community. Anything to say for yourself, Maria? I just want to say that it's been great to work in Tualatin, where our teens are very supported. So that I'm encouraged to do what I get to do every day. I worked as a team librarian elsewhere, and it's to all is amazing for the support of their teams. Well, you've made it that way very much, so. You know, we have Paul Hinton, our community services director. I was going to have you come up, Paul, but I think there's another chair. But um, come on up for a minute, because I think um, the police station. Oh, this is um, this is a manifestation that I would just want to comment on. We, as you pointed out, um, eight years ago, I guess, when we expanded the library, it was a high priority of the council. Monique, you were on the council at the time? I can't remember if anyone else. But it was a high priority of the council to establish some sort of a gathering place for teens. We talked about a teen center and you know the various things associated cost and operation and so on. And through Paul's vision 
and by engaging young people in sort of an advisory council at that time, um, you came up with the facility, which is fabulous, the fabulous facility. And, but you know, it's like everything else in this world, it takes two components, it takes heart and soul. And so maybe you created the heart or the physical being by having that teen center be part of that library, of which I know you're very proud, and which we're, we're just so thrilled that it exists. Uh, and you've put the soul into it by making it happen, by, by making it functional, by making it blossom, and, and really turning it into a place that, that kids can be part of every day. And I'm sure they, like I, don't take for granted, but sort of just don't think every day about the facility. Right. That without your vision, wouldn't be there. They think about their day-to-day -day experiences, but it takes both. It takes both to make that happen. So I just wanted to again publicly thank Paul and all your staff that have made that happen over the years. Uh, and we'll also frankly recognize the Twelfton voters who passed the bond measure to make that facility happen. And, um, and you know, even at the time, I think a teen center as part of a library was sort of, out, I don't know, it was out of the box thinking, but it wasn't the traditional thing that, that folks would vote for when they're voting to build a new library expanded. And so we had the, the leap of confidence, the voter confidence, the leap of faith on behalf of our voters to fund that additional cost part of the library as well. So win, win, win. Amy, you make it happen. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now we have a 